So today I'm going to go over the Asset Builder. Now with the Asset Builder, you must have an Enterprise Advanced Feature Extension to access this feature. So first what we need to do is we need to click on the Administration Shield. And then go to Asset Administration. And from here, I can <clears throat> select available assets, and I can select one of the three options based on the asset's shape type, linear, point, or polygon. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a lake. So I'm going to add a polygon. Here, you will enter in a valid singular and plural name. Now these cannot be more than 20 characters. They cannot start with a CG or <coughs> a CIS, and they must start with a letter and also cannot contain characters other than letters, numbers, spaces, and underscores. Cannot be the same plural name or singular name as a shipped asset. Cannot be a reserved word and must be a unique singular and plural name among existing top level objects. For example, asset, libraries, resources, work, or requests. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna name this lakes. I'm gonna hit save. So now that I have my lakes here, I'm gonna go ahead and click install to add the asset to the database. And then what you wanna do is you can go ahead and click okay. But before confirming that the installation, or confirming the installation, make sure that all the users are logged out of the system, all background apps are stopped so that they're not running and will not start running soon, and there are no integrations running. Now, one of three things happens when the process completes. If the format completes successfully, the page refreshes after you click OK. If the format completes with errors, no changes are committed to the database. If the process had gotten to a step that made changes to the database, a backup created during this process is used to restore the database, leaving it in a state with no changes in it from the install process. If the format completes with warnings, consult the log to manually complete whatever project home steps failed. So as you can see here, our process completed successfully. And after I click up here, the page will refresh. And as you can see, my lakes here shows as an installed asset. When formatting for an app, the security assignments and command permissions for all custom roles will default to not allowed. So what you'll need to do is update the roles and set appropriately. So now the asset is available in the system and we're ready <clears throat> to have permissions assigned against and the library data applied. So we'll go back to administration, go to role administration, and we're gonna go ahead and set the permissions for the new asset that we just built. So as you can see, with it being brought in, it has not been active yet. So we're gonna go ahead and check it. And as you can see, the security assignments have not, have not been set either. So we're going to go ahead and set those. We're going to double check to make sure we didn't miss anything. We'll go ahead and we'll set the command permissions to allow as well. And we can go ahead and hit save. And now we should be able to go back to the Assets tab. 
and C Lake from the dropdown. 